Brian, I have a little confession to make. Should you be playing football in the house? No. Yeah. Are you serious? Well, so did you get the job? Yeah. You got the job? No, no, no. First of all, this is all big news and everything except we're on FaceTime, so. <laughs> it's like nice night. It's the success rate of keeping viewers uh, on clips to start with you singing. <laughs> <laughs> So, good morning, welcome to the vlog. It is um, 6.49 in the morning, me and dad are on our way to school. Uh, it's the day after Halloween, which is always a very fun day. Uh, usually I'd be, you know, if it was a few years ago, I'd be trick-or-treating. I was a hardcore trick-or-treater. So we'd come back, I'd come back with like 300 pieces of candy in my <laughs> pillow bed, or my, um, my pillows. Little case. Little case. Why did I forget the name? Anyway, um, so, and then I'd have, you know, candy would last me like through Christmas. Well, didn't go trick or treating this year, so, uh, we're gonna have to rely on just the clearance section on Publix, probably. If we want, <laughs> if we want, if we want any candy. Brian, I have a little confession to make. What's up? When you were at school, when you were a little kid, I knew where you hid your candy, and I would slide in and, like, take a Snickers bar, and, yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? Well, like here, elementary school Ryan? Here's the justification I used. He can't eat all that candy. It's not good for him. <laughs> it's better in my mouth. Uh -huh. I, was, I, was, I was trying to protect you, Ryan. <laughs> you know the phrase, it's like stealing candy from a baby? That's exactly. I guess it, I guess it really was that easy. That is exactly. But also, yeah. that's like one of the most evil things you can do. Yes. So, wow. Wow, the truth comes Listen, out. Listen, huh? you're you can handle the truth now. You're older, right? I hasn't. I didn't notice that I had so much of it. I uh -huh. I really did used to like. I don't mean to brag, but I <laughs> yeah, I time. raked in some candy. Right. I think one year you donated some of it, didn't you? So yeah, I think so. Yeah. I and couldn't then let that happen. Mom used to buy our candy off of us for yeah, like money. Yeah. Because her reasoning was, I loved this. Her reasoning was, I pay less money buying your candy from you. Then for a dentist appointment, was that like, fair enough? And then like to get cavities filled, I was like fair enough. So we used to like, you know, sell it to her. Uh, one year she wouldn't buy though, cause I got so much candy <laughs> that it all added up to like a hundred or so, <laughs> or so <laughs> dollars. And I was like, I'm not paying you. Right, I think you start crying. And I started crying. <laughs> Halloween's always been fun though. In terms of costumes, this year I went as a hippie. I'm sure we can put a picture in right here. Um, and I was with Trevor, who was uh, one of the little alien. He had a onesie of one of the little alien guys from Toy Story, which was funny. Oh, nice. And then uh, Scott went as Harry Potter. He kind of looks like Harry Potter, so it was a good costume. Uh, <laughs> and then um, EB, Ethan went um, as a banana, but he, he wore like tropical clothing underneath. He wore a banana costume, which is great. I was a banana for three. If you guys are really, if you guys really remember, I was a banana for three yeah. years in a row. Yeah. And it was a great costume. And then I convinced my two other friends to be bananas. We were the three bananas. It was great. Yes. We were a bunch of bananas. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll um, put those back. I think I'll put that video up. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Like, she combined like three years or four years. Of nice. Yeah, that's good stuff. And then one year I was a sheet ghost, which was hilarious. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, because cause that's like the. Classic, like Charlie Brown, like quintessential Halloween costume is just to put a sheet over her head because we're all sheet ghosts. And then, um, uh, I think that I think it, my costume ended up ripping by the end of the night, and I was just like in a white t shirt, <laughs> uh, so that wasn't great. But and then, one I would year, say, as a general rule, uh, Halloween costumes are not very durable, I mean, they normally don't yeah. survive the night, yeah, no, no, they don't. But it's yeah, by the time you get to the last house, all your Stuff is just off, right. and they can't even tell what you are, and then you're like, "Just give me some candy, just give me some candy. <laughs> Shoot. please." Exactly. Um, but and then one year I was America Man, where I just wore all red, white, and blue, uh, which was, I think, pretty creative. And then <laughs> American Man. I called myself American Man just because I got all red, white, and blue stuff. You have a badge. And I would play the national anthem just on my way around. Uh, all right. 
It was fun. And then, all right, two more notable costumes. I was a cowboy for a while. Oh. Uh, that was, like, really little. That was before Banana was cowboy for a while. Yeah. I had I had a lot of good stuff. I had, like, chaps and a whole, like, um, yeah, yeah, canteen. Cowboy, yeah. It was really good. And then, um, I hope you have pictures of all these. And then I was Mike Wazowski, I remember. Do you remember the Mike Wazowski costume? <laughs> I do, yes. It was great. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys... Yeah, comment Halloween. below what you were for uh, mm-hmm. Halloween. Wait, I'm interested to know. I was a lamp one time. Like a light lamp? From uh, I know, just a lamp. I put like, a lampshade on and a <laughs> board coming out of, out of my leg. It's funny. I just stood in the corner the whole time. That is kind of funny. <laughs> um, some other funny stories. Uh, Brennan, when is Mr. Clean? <laughs> and everyone thought he was a gypsy. Because <laughs> he had like a ball cap and like an ear. <laughs> yes. That was really funny. Yes, it's insulting when somebody says to you, hey, what are you? It's like, yeah, you don't yeah. know what I am? Yeah, exactly. How do you not know what I am? <laughs> yeah. Do I not do a good enough job? Like, yeah. It's an insult to say that. It is. You have to say, oh, hey, you look great. That's really a great costume. Yeah. And then you pause. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like with the, with the ghost one, I mean, you know you're a ghost, right? right. Cowboy, cowboy, good. I think Brian, uh, Brandon was a fireman once, right? Fireman. He was also a Wii remote, which is, <laughs> which I'm jealous of. Like, I wish I thought of a Wii remote. Like, we got, <laughs> we got all of, like, the face, and we draw the buttons on it, like, A and B, and the home button, and one and two. It was really funny. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, uh, have a great day today. Thank you. We get to there reasonably early, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we gotta do our football pits too. Oh yeah. Um. All right. This is a very exciting thing that we're doing today. We are. I wish to sell Joe. It is Michael. We are on our way to the to. Okay. So Facebook Marketplace is my favorite place to buy stuff. I love it. So we found a desk on Facebook Marketplace that's perfect for Ryan's room. And if you can recall, I've mentioned it a few times, but when we bought the house down here in Florida. We outfitted it for to be sort of a second home and that we would have like lots of kids and family come stay. So in the one bedroom, we have Katie's bed and that's a double bed. I'm sorry, it's a queen bed. So like two people could sleep there, like she and her cousin, she and a friend or another couple if they come to visit us. And then in Brennan and Ryan's room, Pat Pat built four bunk beds. So that was really outfitted for like a, like a bunk room. But now that Ryan lives in that room, we are making it really Ryan's room. Now the before bunk beds will stay there, but we are putting a desk in, we're putting in some like decorations, moving some things out, really making it his room. A ceiling fan. A ceiling fan, really very excited. excited. I'm yeah. very, yeah. very excited. If you've never put in a ceiling fan, you know, or if you have, you know how exciting that I am. To put that in? <laughs> I keep saying, I'm like, Mike, I'm, I'm gonna get a ceiling fan. Can you put it in this weekend? And he's like, uh. But it's a really great one. My sister bought it for um, for her son's room and his, for Nick's room at their house, and I love it. So I am um, been saving up for it, and we're gonna go get that. So my ideal, my ideal situation would be to put everything in this weekend. So I have a few more Whoa. things to order. I know. So we're going to go pick up a desk and then we're going to pick up a floating shelf from Ikea and then we're going to ski out on home and then um, I have the rest of the stuff to get. Some of them I need to order. I'm hoping that Where's the floating day. shelf going? Underneath the window. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, stay tuned to see how this all works out. Well, we're just gathering stuff today and then if you stay tuned over the next few days, hopefully everything will go in and we will <laughs> massively clean the room and make everything go great. Oh, we gotta add your um, shoe shelf also. Pap is gonna come over and help oh, with your shoe. Great. So I've been wanting to also fix up my um, my sh- my closet. And I have grandiose dreams for it. I just haven't done anything for it yet. And one of those things includes a shoe shelf. So basically just like like a shelf that stands on the ground and has two shelves in it so I can put my shoes on it because my shoes are a mess right now. It's right, what'd you say? They're kind of a mess. Some ladies do a she shed, you can do a shoe. A shoe shelf. <laughs> to say shoe shelf <laughs> all right so stay tuned see our desk that we get and um and then the floating shelf and we'll um i don't think ryan's surprised like he knows the whole plan which is nice he wanted to be part of it because he really likes doing that kind of thing so um but he's at school so we're just gonna pick up this while he's at school okay desk secured
pretty nice, Mike. Nicer than I thought it would be. That's for sure. Is that right? Yeah, it's really nice. The, the guy said that he bought it and he used it as a temporary desk until his real one came in. Oh. So it's quite nice. And there he are. must have a really nice desk. <laughs> I bet he does have a really nice desk. All right, on to Ikea next for a floating shelf. Fantastic. Thank you for being my chauffeur oh my and my, my partner in crime. Fantastic. One of my favorite places in the whole wide world is Ikea. Here we are at Ikea. All right, Mike. Whenever I'm like get something always has to get a fresh one like one that's never been touched before you can't oh is that, are those double we only want one oh. yeah we only want one oh. that's pretty fresh you didn't think that one was fresh it see that one's not fresh because it was it had a little um a little problem already using the shelf <laughs> <laughs> right, user friendly. But we do, oh careful oh there we go there we go it just split okay there we go mike's getting one so we're going to put the shelf underneath Ryan's window, and it's going to be basically the um, side table for both of the lower beds. You like that idea? There you go, Mike. You got it. <laughs> Don't drop anything. you got to keep that nice and balanced. You are like Marsha. Can you put it on your head? There we go. Oh, my gosh. He's got it. <laughs> nice shorts you got there, Mike. They have paint on them. Oh, careful. Oh my gosh. If someone comes around the corner, be careful. <gasps> oh my gosh. Alright, I got it. I got it. Now the challenge is getting out of IKEA without buying the cinnamon buns. It's a challenge. And all those other things, like there's Christmas trees here now. There, I, lo I love all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but we are, we are on a mission. I mean, if, if you wanted cinnamon buns, I'd buy them for you for, the, um, for taking me up here and doing all that. But otherwise, none of the other stuff. We're not buying anything else. Just this show. I'm shelf. glad you can't smell it. I can't? Oh, I, we smelled them on the way in. Oh, we did? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm getting in. I think we're getting this line. There's only one line. FaceTiming with Katie May. Hi, Katie Wadey. You know what? Never mind. I'm here. And it's Gwyneth's birthday. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, there's no way the camera comes out and you're not on Yeah. At oh, the yeah. house, and then I put hot chocolate powder in it, and then now it's a mocha. Oh, that's the way to do it, Kate. I love it. Fantastic. So we're having our, um, one of our 15 a day talks <laughs> right now. I was like, I, no, I thought you were going to say once a day, and I was like, mm. <laughs> But Goku just came home. Ryan and Ethan oh came home. All right, you guys say so you got news. big news. What's your big, big news? We both just, well, the other day, um, we both applied for jobs at a golf course right down the street. And today we had like our, almost like our orientation, I guess. We got our paperwork, like all that stuff. And tomorrow we got our training. For Wait, so did you get the job? Yeah. You got the job? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. When did you actually turn in the application? That was like, for me, it was Monday. For oh. him, it was like yesterday. We did it at the same time. Do we actually? Oh, uh, and yeah. both drove in there and handled it <laughs> at the same time. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, First of all, this is all big news and everything, except we're on FaceTime. So, <laughs> um, also, Ryan, can you drive? No, yeah. It's okay. I'm his ride to work. It's okay, cool. but wait a minute. You have to be scheduled to your This would be. They always said that they're gonna they, for at least like the first like month they're gonna schedule us together so we can do range picking together. Oh, like, fun! It's, like, teamwork almost. So he'll be like in the cart, or I'll be in the cart, and then the other one will be like picking the balls off on like in the ditches and whatever, all that good stuff. That's fantastic! Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. My concern is that Ryan is almost sixteen and a half, and he still doesn't have his permit. 
It's he. You had an unfortunate <clears throat> situation. Bye, Ahem. <clears throat> I'm the cook. I'm the cook of a really good comeback. Just kidding. Okay, you just don't know what it is yet. Is that? This is where we insert the cricket the cricket sound. Come on. Murder me in what? In bowling? As soon as you murder Brendan, doesn't mean you're gonna murder me. Yeah, run it. Splitsville. Show him what's up. Oh, that's what's a good so idea. Fun. Should we do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. Anyway. Okay. I'll think of I'll think of something and I'll text you it. <laughs> yeah, I'll think of a good comeback and I'll what? text it to you with an exclamation mm -hmm. point. All caps. <laughs> what you should do first is post for your brother. Yeah, I know. Can I have right a, I have a draft. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good. It's like ready. Okay. But you're currently on my phone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not the same picture. What? Yeah, that's right. It's his birthday. I said check my post to make sure it's okay, not the same. Okay, I'll check your post. You do me a favor. Will you put that phone next to you so I have Brendan and Ryan and Katie in the same? Oh, look how cute you guys are. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to close. I'll stop this and give this back to you. One thing, you can't go in your room right now. Do not go near your room. I thought I'd done that Just don't go near your room because I have to get there's something up there. I got to get your reaction. Okay. Okay, bye. All right, we finished talking with Katie for just a few minutes. Let's go upstairs and look at your room. All right. It's not done. No, it's not done. He wants to participate in doing it. It's just that there's something up there that he might like. Bye, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Come on in. Is there a desk in here? Chill. It's like nice, nice. It's really nice. I love it. Dad's a little jelly, I don't mind telling you. Oh, Look, it's I, a little fuzzy I would one. be too. Yeah. Look no, at that it. doesn't have to be your chair. I was gonna it's say, just a chair for now. Right. This is valid though. Isn't it nice? Did you, did you go to the to get this? Yes. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. This is actually sweetie. no, this is Stevie. And it, I love the clock. We put those. Yeah, on. we're gonna boot. Yeah, we'll do a thing there. That was the the take that we needed to get going. Yes. And then there's your shelf. Your shelf's gonna go right underneath oh, there. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll move this away. And look at how nice and wide it goes almost from bed to bed. Yeah, that's perfect. Look at that, right? And then we'll put the poofs underneath. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get the um, things. Like I might go get them to, well, I was gonna get them today, but maybe, I don't know, it's a little rainy out there, but we'll figure that out, okay? Yeah. So what I need to do is, I need to um, measure how much space is gonna be underneath the shelf to see how big the poofs can be, because I have a lot of them in my cart at Amazon right now. Okay. So anywhere so. between 10 inches high, all the way up to 15 or 16 inches high, so we have to figure out what can fit under there and yeah. what's best to sit on. Perfect. So we can do that right now if you'd like, so I can decide. Let's do is that it. Good? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, uh, we're trying to have a family dinner and we can't because every night Ryan's doing something. And then tonight you're going to a bonfire. And then tomorrow night, tomorrow, uh, oh, you have a football, football first, game. First shift of work and then blackout football game. See you tonight. First shift of work? You start tomorrow? tomorrow what? Yeah. Did you hear he got a job, Michael? I love it. Isn't that fantastic? I have to say, we didn't make a, a big enough deal about it because I was in the middle of like yeah, talking with Katie I and editing. It and I was like, oh, yeah. And then, That's yeah, fantastic. Like, okay, oh, should you be playing football in the house? No. I don't oh, think so. Yeah, if you guys yeah. break something, yeah, I'm going to be so ball, mad. I was like, he was like the king of no ball in the house and bad idea. Yeah, all of a sudden, we're playing well, ball in the house. Well, he's gotten considerably better since then. <laughs> okay. Like, well, That's you're fair. as accurate as me and dad, but like that. Oh, I see. Is that how that goes? I mean, we right. could play in a Tiffany, a China shop. We'd really? And everything yeah. would be okay? Look, watch. Dime ski. And then I'll put my hands right here. I don't even have to move, right? Oh but, my uh, gosh. That's really good, you guys. You know, we do have a, a golf course right back there. You can go out and play <laughs> in the golf course. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. It's even more fun when you dive for the ball. It smells <laughs> very good. Mike's making some. Um, I'm going to go. Don't hit me in the head. Some grilled boneless pork chops with yeah, dirt. Oh my gosh, one of the best things ever. Uh, right. A little baked beans, okay. and then some kind of vegetable. I'm not sure what our vegetable's gonna be tonight. I've gotta look and see what we have. We actually might not have any right now. my scheduling and stuff like that. And then um, on the weekends, I'm going to uh, carts and stuff, but it's Now, did you fun. tell them you're not gonna be here next weekend? Yeah. You did. Yeah, no, you did it. No, you did it. Did you tell them? You didn't tell them. Oh my mom. Ryan, this is the thing. It's awesome, but you just have to give them enough time to yeah, know. Like I know. they'll, they'll. Okay. All right. Um. Well, if you don't vacuum up all the golf balls. <laughs> exactly. Right. Uh. No. I'll be. I'll be. Right. But um. I'll be alright. 
Just, I. So what are you going to be doing? Tell everybody what you're going to be doing for your new job. Well, it's a golf course. It's like a yes. golf course. So uh, if you guys have ever been to a driving range, there's a guy who drives around in a cart and picks up all the balls on the range. So I'm going to be doing that. And like a picker. Just, yeah, just making sure the range is in order, which is what I did in my last job, which is good. But so, I have to say, the difference is, do you remember before when you would drive the picker and it was freezing cold and you would get it stuck in the ice? There's going to be none of that this time. <laughs> it's not going to get stuck in the ice. Yeah, Your really, hands are not going to freeze off. Because I did it through the winter. And, I, I, yeah, I'd have to bundle up and wear gloves and it was just freezing cold. And, it's going to um, be a whole different ball game. And there's no windshield in those things. It's just a cage. <laughs> oh, so it's cold and windy. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, here I don't think I'll have any of that, which is good. But also, prime golf season is, you know, when all the snowbirds come down. Um, Perfect. So, you know, it's through the winter. But that means it's not going to be blazing hot. It's right. Be cool so, Ryan, you just need to tell them, I'll write down all the days that you can. I mean, there's not a lot, but the days that you right. won't be here. The good news is, since we're down here now, this is our vacation. <laughs> so it's not like you're gone a lot. Like exactly. before you were coming here a lot and now you're here. Two things. One, I've been blinking a lot recently. Yeah. Like, I think I have a little, like, tick. Okay. But, um, <laughs> or just my eyes get dry. I don't know. Or a little bit of both, maybe. That's okay. Um, one. Two, I think I'm going to start golfing with John on Mondays before Young Life. So then I can work Tuesdays. Oh, that's a good idea. Thursdays and Fridays. And then I can work specific weekends. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> The success rate of this is no offense to you. The success rate of keeping viewers uh, on clips to start with you singing. Is, uh, listen. Don't, Thank don't you, Michael. I Thank love you. In our family, but we are not musically talented. Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. You know, the the Speak funny thing is, yeah. we're better. We're better at other things. That's right. Okay. And it's nice to know your strengths. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not good at walking the cats either. Right. Okay. Um, what made you happy today, Rye Guy? Going to, uh, or getting a job was fun, and then going and um, going to the bonfire was really fun. We had a big school bonfire, it was a flannel theme, so I'm mm -hmm. this. And uh, it was just fun, we just got to see all my friends. I played spike ball for the first time in a while. I used to play spike ball like, every day in Maryland, and it all came back to me, so I was. It's years. all coming back to me if you touch That's me it. like this and you stinky like that. I don't know the words. <laughs> like that. I don't know the words. It's Celine Dion. It's all me. coming back to me now. Ryan, come back. Okay. Oh, well, right. Just go away. Don't be mad. Don't be <laughs> mad. Oh my God, just go away. <laughs> all right, babe. Sounds like you had a good day. Yeah. Congratulations on your job. I'm really, Thank really you. proud of you. That's amazing. Appreciate that. Yeah, it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. All right, how are you, daddy -o? What made you happy today? Well, thank you for asking. What made me happy today was... That's a great question. Um, I would have to say... Whoops. Ryan not breaking all the dishes in the right. cabinet. Right, right, right. Going to Ikea with me. I would say, yeah, that was the best part. Oh, that's nice, Mike. Um, we did um, do a, a reverse um, experience with Ikea. So we went in to the warehouse instead of going through the showroom, which I recommend if you want to... If you know what you're getting. Yes. Yes. That's what you should do. Yes. We are very efficient. Go straight to the warehouse. Don't get drawn in by the... All the fun things in the showroom. Exactly. Because it is fun. That's for sure. I do love myself some Ikea. Oh, good. All right, very good. What made me happy today? A lot of things, definitely. Ryan, why do you have to be so loud? Well, I wanted to find a mini fork. <laughs> why? Because you just want a little bite of pumpkin pie? Yeah, I try to eat it slow. <laughs> Mike bought a pumpkin pie at the Publix today, which is completely off limits. It's not even close to Thanksgiving. It's my favorite kind of pie. It is. It's fantastic. Hey, you should put some whipped cream on it. Dad got some whipped cream, too. Oh, look at that. He already has it. Nice. All right. Anyway, so what made me happy today um, was going to get the desk for Ryan and the shelf for Ryan because I feel like we are on our way to getting his room complete and done, turned over, which I'm so excited about. Also, I think we, 
I guess just, oh, oh, it being Brian's birthday. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. Okay, everybody. I know it's so weird because he's not here. He's not with us. So, um, but I have been thinking about him all day, did several posts and looked through lots of pictures and talked to him today. He's having, he went out, get this. This is, this makes me happy. It's like, mom, I said, what are you doing for birthday? He said, I'm going out to dinner with my friend. I'm like, oh, that's good. He goes, yeah, I made a reservation for six. I'm like, oh, okay, good. We're talking. And later on, I said, so who are the people you're going with? Like, who are the six people who are going to dinner? He goes, oh, no, no, no. We're going at six. He said, I made a reservation for 25. There are 25 of us going out oh, to yeah. dinner. I know. Oh, my gosh, it's right. I don't even think I know 25 people. So he's like, and so he's going out to dinner. I said, Brennan, you have a beautiful friend group. Like, he's a very good friend. Like, he's definitely a very good friend. You, got, you all are. Ryan, you're a very good friend, too. Michael, you're a very good friend. You guys are all really good friends, Thanks. you know. So anyway, he's going out to dinner with 25 of his closest friends from college. <laughs> so that's what made me happy today. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, and Ryan getting a job that made me happy. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.